Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Blood on the Clock Tower Storytime, the series where I talk about my experiences as a Blood on the Clock Tower fan, player and Twitch streamer. And it is the last of those three which I will be talking about today. So this story will begin in 2015 when I start uh, frequently uh, going on to Twitch. Uh, I started watching Twitch uh, when a uh, one of the YouTube channels I would watch frequently, Achievement Hunter, one of their uh, regular uh, players and members of their team, uh, Ray Navier's Jr., uh, left Achievement Hunter uh, to start uh, going on his own and streaming on Twitch regularly, which I started watching. And over the coming months, uh, I watched quite a few uh, streamers. Uh, I was getting really into it. And, uh, yep, uh, Twitch became a very frequent thing for me over the uh, following years. So we fast forward this story to July of 2020 uh, during the uh, COVID pandemic and the uh, lockdown and I decided to give uh, Twitch streaming another go uh, thanks to a um, upgrade of my uh, broadband thanks to an offer from Sky uh, which made these streams look a lot better when I started streaming again. Uh, at that time, my streams consisted of my TV, an Xbox One, no webcam, and a car seat on my living room floor, uh, which was, uh, it was okay to, at times, but I could only stream for, like, maybe, like, an hour or two at most, because, like, sitting on that seat just really did my back in, especially uh, during a time where I was having a lot of back uh, pain and troubles with that, uh, area of my body so uh yeah uh, i did the best i could and just to keep my sanity up during the uh covid times and we fast forward again now to late 2021 uh after i discovered blood on the clock tower uh, which you can uh, find out about in episode one of blood on the clock tower story time and uh, yeah, uh, I discovered Blood on the Clock Tower. I'd finally managed to play it in person, uh, though I hadn't been able to play much of it online, uh, mainly just trouble finding groups that uh, were able to uh, play. Uh, I did uh, eventually find some groups, and it, though it did take a bit of time, uh, we had a uh, relatively small group on a Discord server where we we did plan like i think weekly games unfortunately like for the first like three or four weeks there was only like maybe three or four of us showing up which unfortunately uh, wasn't enough for us to run any games so we had to call it off and just try again the following week but eventually we did manage to get a good group of players together and managed to play a couple of uh Kingsville games which were a lot of fun and really helped me get more understanding of the game and you know how mechanics work and stuff like that and it was a lot of fun and uh, helped me discover quite a few more uh, discord servers that uh, played blood on the clock tower regularly and larger groups and the main one that really got this uh, the ball rolling was the server uh, which I, I'm trying to remember, it was based, at the time, it was a uh, Manchester-based group, uh, based on a, uh, I think a group where they just played together, played other games together, and like, quite a lot of us like joined that group, and the ball rolling in that group would eventually become LGBOTCQ. And uh, yep, the regular uh, Monday games, and they now have red games like every a couple of days a week which is and it's a really great group for beginners which i would highly recommend if you want to uh, join so we get into uh, early days of 2022 and uh, getting regular games on uh, blood on the clock tower via the uh, lgbotcq server uh, around that time uh, my old laptop 
uh, had it a couple of years and it was really struggling uh, by the end. I think just uh, it, it, it was old, it was dying and uh, eventually uh, one update too many and it just couldn't take any more and just completely uh, died on me. So I was in the market uh, for a new laptop, uh, which luckily uh, my brother, who was a uh, Twitch streamer as well and uh, was well better into the uh, gaming uh, PC and laptop spec aspects and really helped me out and helped me get the laptop that I am using today, uh, which uh, was absolutely brilliant. And uh, with that, I decided maybe it's time to move from the Xbox to PC or laptop, laptop slash PC gaming. And I've never looked back since. And uh, I had originally uh, set a plan that the uh, my two year Twitch anniversary was going to be my debut for streaming Blood on the Clock Tower. However, due to, uh, well, eventually I managed to work out all the uh, setup and everything via Streamlabs and decided, you know what, let's start a bit earlier and let's uh, get a, uh, I think it was originally supposed to be just the uh, test run stream, uh, which we uh, did and absolutely brilliant, which uh, you can watch the uh, full stream uh, back uh, uh, is in the, I'll put the link, there's the full stream and the episode we did. I think we did uh, three games where I played two trouble, uh, I, I story told two trouble brewings and I was a player in the third game and it was a lot of fun and uh, the Blood on the Clock Tower content really grew. I did the uh, beginner's guide to the base free scripts and we started working slowly and slowly. Uh, I think it was, yeah, back then on the uh, Monday streams to, uh, and things really took off. And um, so, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, tonight's stream. Um, my first ever live stream playing Blood on the Clock Tower, a social deduction game, a very fun game. We've got a amazing group of uh, friends who are going to be playing. Aiden claims Slayer and shoots George. <laughs> Aiden claims Slayer and shoots George. George dies. What? <laughs> no! What? <laughs> no! The game <laughs> continues. <laughs> Oh boy. And here we are today um, in uh, August 2023, you know, almost a year and a half since I started doing the Blood on the Clock Tower streaming. And it's been going from strength to strength. And I, again, I can't thank the people who have been part of the streams enough over the like the past uh, year and a half, whether it's been the Monday streams, the Sunday streams, the Friday streams, the uh, special clock tower streams, uh, whatever we've been doing, it's been absolutely brilliant. It's been so much fun. We've had so many laughs and everything. So, yep, that's going to do it for this episode of Blood on the Clock Tower Story Time. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. See you later, guys.